Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Jake from JTS Cosplay, uh, back with another video today. Uh, today I am going to be working on the quivers, as you probably already noticed by the title and the thumbnail. But yeah, as I did explain in the breakdown video, I did plan on making the quivers out of foam and then wrapping them in fabric and adding a few little details. I have thought about it a bit more and I'm going to do the exact same thing, just change a couple things around with uh, painting, you know, fabric, stuff like that. So my main plan is now, uh, same thing, wrap the main quiver in uh, fabric, make it out of foam make and then wrap it in fabric. But for these straps, I am going to go with uh, foam uh, painted the same red as the fletching for the arrow. So I think that should look sick. I'm super happy about that choice. I think it should turn out pretty cool. So that definitely does go for the hip quiver and the back quiver because uh, there is two, which is cool too. Before we get to it, guys, I just want to also um, do a quick announcement. I am going to be attending Melbourne Oz Comic Con. I have known for a while. I'm not sure why I haven't really um, let it on. But yeah, I am going to be attending. Um, I am going to be doing Arsenal on the Saturday, I think. Uh, most likely this Saturday, if it is finished, which it should be. Uh, I think by the time I'm recording this for now, uh, it is about two and a half weeks away. So I still do have the broadheads, um, the chest, the undershirt, and the actual chest piece to go. Uh, also, uh, what else is there? Ah, uh, that's right, I need to finish the shins and the forearms. Um, and also, just to finish it off, uh, do the um, hat. And also I need to trim and style the wig as well. But yeah, I can't wait to show you that guys. I pretty much do have everything in right now at the moment. So uh, it's all good on those fronts. It's just about getting all the work done uh, while recording it. So hopefully I can do that. So yeah, let's just get to it guys. The first thing to do obviously is make the quivers out of foam and then I can get to wrapping and all the other good stuff. So first off guys, I'm going to show you how I am going to construct uh, the main um, quiver here. This is the back quiver. So I have the back here, the two sides, so they're gonna go like that on the other side because I want the rough on the inside. Uh, two sides, the bottom, which will sit at here, like that though. Uh, and this piece here, which what I was talking about before, Four is just a piece I'm going to stick about midway or a bit closer to the top up here um, just so when the arrows slide in they stay pretty tight and they don't move around I think it will just give it a bit more of a structured look uh, and I think that will work pretty well. To be gluing everything together, I am just using contact adhesive, regular contact adhesive just from the local Bunnings. I uh, love this stuff. It's so good for doing foam. I forgot about it in my belt um, belt pouch video. I would have rather used that for sure, 100%, but I forgot I had some, so I used hot glue. But for this, definitely, I think I will need to use the contact adhesive. First off, before I do start gluing, I'm going to just grab some 120 grit sandpaper, just some rough off cut sort of thing, and just sand the edges that are going to be glued together. Just to give a, just a little bit better of a bond, so just something like that, not too much, just sanding a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to get to doing that on all the pieces, and then I will show you what I do and how I use the contact adhesive to glue together some foam parts. So all the necessary sides of the foam has been sanded. Um, as you can see, it's sort of just a little bit rougher on the edges. Uh, so what I've got here is just one of the sides uh, that I will be gluing up there. Obviously just a bit, a bit straighter. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I use the contact adhesive. So. The main idea with contact adhesive is you want to brush it on um, pretty generously, just like enough to cover the area. So I'm just going to put it on. And the idea is you want to put it on both pieces that are being glued together, let it dry or at least become tacky. 
and then you can put the pieces together. And it's cool because it does give such a instant bond, I guess, and it's um, it's very strong. So I do like that about contact adhesive. A lot stronger than hot glue in my opinion. So yeah, that's about it. So I'm just going to let those dry for about four to five minutes for this one. Could be different depending on uh, which contact adhesive you have. But yeah, let that dry and then I'll show you guys pressing them together. So the glue is pretty much dry. So I just want to take my two pieces of foam here and just make sure they're lined up because it is fairly hard to take these apart once it has made um, connections. So you just really want to go slow and sort of just line everything up and push everything together. That bond is really good. things in small um, areas like that just because I wouldn't want the glue to go too dry not tacky enough so I couldn't get the rest of the top so I like to work a bit slower in that regard which I've learned the hard way many times but anyways I'm going to go through and glue all the rest in glue the other side the bottom and the arrow holder piece probably up here near the top uh, and then I'll show you guys where I'm gonna go from there hey guys just a bit of an update here as you can see, the most of the um, back quiver is fully complete. This is what I meant by that. So now once this plate goes on, I can slide the arrows in there. And I did add this um, foam, I guess, packaging little rectangular prism that the arrows can actually slide into and stay secure. Because if it is just this top part, they sort of uh, move around at the bottom and it sort of ruins the whole thing and uh, makes it really not worth it. So, uh, also, obviously this is going to have to be strapped to my back. So, what I've done here is I've I measured uh, from a backpack the same strap size as a backpack, just added a bit so I could thread it into the actual quiver. But I've just made these uh, two inch wide foam straps and cut some lines into them. And I think that they look really good, mind me dropping my hot glue gun. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. I rounded off the edges and just heat sealed them um, and scored the little lines in there so they did come out when they heat, when they got heat sealed. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with them. But yeah, so to explain this, so this is going on my back like this. So this is going to slide in here like that. And on the inside I have marked of how far that needs to go in there. And then that's going to wrap around my arm and then come back up the top in here like that. So yeah, I'm going to glue those down in their rightful positions. Hey guys, just thought I'd update you here. Um, so the straps are glued, as you can see. I did glue them with contact adhesive and then I just went in after with some hot glue just to... Uh, reinforce all those joins. Yeah, everything is looking good. I'm super happy with how this is turning out. So yeah, just now to glue on these front plates uh, and then I can get to painting these straps. I'm going to be painting them the same uh, red as the bow riser and the arrow um, fletching, the red part that I did. So it should look cool, should all match. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to get to doing that guys and I'll show you then. Hey guys, so as you've seen, I have painted these straps with the red that uh, I have used on the fletching for the arrows as well. And I'm really happy with how it came out. Uh, I think it looks really nice and it's going to add some nice contrast to the fabric. 
Uh, talking about the fabric, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to wrap this in fabric just like I did for the belt video. So if you want to know more about the process, just go back and watch that video or just watch the bit where I uh, wrap it in fabric. So yeah, I've cut out uh, a piece of fabric that is the proper size to wrap this with. Obviously going to be starting on this side first. Um, also, just before I forget, I did go ahead and make the hip quiver. So, if you can see that, it just is a bit smaller, so it sort of is like that. So, I'm going to have to cut some arrows down when I do um, wrap this one as well in fabric. So, because I do have the, oh, you can't really see, but I do have the holder in there as well for some arrows. So this just hangs from the belt. So I'm pretty happy with this too. Uh, there's a bit of markings and stuff on these straps, but I think they'll just be all right um, once it's weathered. So I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, just moving along, I am going to get both of those wrapped in fabric and then we can worry about some little details that need to be finished on the outside of the quivers. Hey guys, so here are the wrapped quivers. I'm pretty stoked with how they came out. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, this is the pretty much the last part of uh, the quivers, uh, except the airbrushing and that, but like I keep saying, it's, there's gonna be a separate video for that. This is an arrow piece that I've just made out of styrene, just some one mil styrene that I'm gonna paint and glue on there. I'm gonna paint it gold and glue on there. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the hip quiver just a smaller arrow. Also, you might have noticed that I've done a little bit of weathering. Uh, just some little stuff that really, the only, oh, there goes one of the arrow pieces. But the only reason I really did it <laughs> was um, just because there was a few mistakes and it really does cover it up nicely and it sort of looks natural on its own anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, I'm going to get to painting these uh, pieces um, cutting them out and making them for the hip quiver and yeah then I'll paint them in the gold and then we can glue them on. Quickly guys, I want to run through how I decided I am going to be attaching um, this hip quiver to the belt. So what I've done here is I've used some CA super glue just to glue um, some strips of Velcro onto the back of the straps, also reinforced with hot glue. Uh, so to go with those Velcro straps, I've just made up a uh, quick belt uh, that is the size of my waist pretty much and just a quick buckle so I can take it on and off and have it tight. But the main thing is these little straps. So they're not gonna focus very well, of course, but um, they're just sort of straps that sit on there. They can move freely. I've got two of them and I can position them however I want on this belt and attach these quite easily to this. And I've tried it and they do hold up very nicely. So I'm excited about that. I think that they will uh, do well. I did want a separate belt just so there wasn't as much stress on that foam belt. And this is pretty seamless, just goes on underneath the actual utility belt. So I'm super happy with that. Um, I'm gonna have to wear it in a bit obviously to see if there are any issues with it holding, but I don't think it will. This hot glue, I mean, this uh, Velcro was glued on here with um, CA glue as well. So I'm pretty confident in the hold of the CA glue. But yeah, so that's pretty much that and how it works. So that's it for the quivers guys. I'm super happy with how they turned out. I really like uh, this arrow symbol, um, the arrows, how they go in there. It's obviously missing two, just the ones that slide in. Um, the straps even look really nice. I'm super happy with them. Uh, also, the hip quiver is a real standout for me. I really like that. That little spot there that you can see, it's just a bit of chipped paint. So once I've weathered that, will be fine. The arrows in there look pretty sick as well. Uh, I got the straps with the Velcro. 
But yeah, these were super fun to make. Uh, a bit stressful at times when things don't work all the way you want them to, but um, it all gets there in the end and everything can be fixed with weathering so uh, that is a bonus. So what I'm going to do guys for the finish of this video is I'm going to chuck on everything that I have right now for the Arsenal costume um, if it's finished or not so I'm pretty sure that includes the gloves, the uh, quivers, the belt, the pants, uh, the boots and the hat and the wig also but the wig is not trimmed. Uh, if I'm not, if I'm forgetting anything, you'll see uh, probably in the next 20-ish seconds. But yeah, I'm going to chuck it all on and do a little half reveal, I guess, and um, just give you a feel for what is coming, because I do have, oh, the undershirt also, I do have the undershirt, I just don't have the chest piece. So yeah, I'll give you a feel for what is coming. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. I appreciate all the views, the comments, the likes, everything guys. Um, I really do appreciate it. So yeah, just once again, thank you for watching. Uh, I will catch you in the next video where we cover the broadheads. I'm super pumped for that one.